So the second one, the output, you will get something like this. Okay, because we already grouped the first spin axis over here with our second gimbal. That's why you will get two pointed out part. Okay, so right now we basically want to create this part over here. Okay, so to create that part, the size of the cutout face and the object is the same as the first one. Okay, the width is 12.95 and the length is 16 millimeter. And this time, when you measure it using a ruler over here, starting from this point, it basically moves 0 0.55 millimeter downwards. Okay, vice versa for the second one, which is the bottom part, it will move 0 0.55 millimeter upwards. Okay, and the placement for the x axis, okay, now we are looking at this one. So this part is our x axis, okay. So the placement for the x axis will be at the center of the whole shape, okay. So this 0 0.55 millimeter is our y basically. Same thing for the previous one, also this one. So let me show you. Okay, same thing for here. This y will be 0 0.55 millimeter downwards, and x is at the center. So let's move on to the next part. Okay, okay, the next one is the second spin axis or the x. So for the second spin axis, okay. The shape of the object is basically the same as the first one. So the width is 10.16 millimeter and the length is 11 millimeter and the height also is 11. Okay, this is the height. So the placement of it, okay, when you compare it, it's just the same when you do the first one also. So this time, basically our Y will move two millimeter downwards and the X is actually basically 22 millimeter or you can understand it by it's placed at the center of the whole thing okay same thing for the other side okay so the bottom part same if you measure it based on the ruler starting from that point zero your y basically move two millimeter upwards and the x is basically at the center of your whole shape Okay, and that's all for the measurement. Let's start to create this spin axis inside Tinkercad. 